Now let's take a ride and use WAS to fly an LPV approach. We'll use this Bonanza that's been upgraded with the latest avionics. In fact, you could call it half of a glass cockpit since it has traditional instruments but also has an STEC autopilot and Garmin 530 that's been upgraded for WAS. You can tell if a Garmin GPS had a WAS upgrade by looking at the startup screen. If you see a W, it has WAS. After checking our approach charts, we'll load the approach. In this case, we're going to KTCY in Tracy, California. After entering the identifier, we'll press the Enter key. Then, we'll load the approach by starting with the PROC key. Select Approach is highlighted, and we'll confirm with the Enter key. Next, we'll scroll to select our approach, the RNAV Runway 12 approach, and press the Enter key. Then, scroll to select our initial approach fix at Oyoso and press the Enter key. Now, here's something new. Do we want to hold at Oyoso? We'll choose Yes and press the Enter key. Finally, we'll choose Activate since we're ready to go to our IAF and press the Enter key. Okay, we're ready to go and we'll be on our way in just a few seconds. Tracy is located in California's Central Valley. Instead of flying vectors, we're flying via our own navigation, so we'll enter the hold at Oyoso. As we get closer, a Garmin tells us to hold parallel and then tells us what heading to use. Here's something else new. In the past, pilots had to fly the hold themselves, but the new WAS receivers give course guidance to your autopilot throughout the entire hold, and that takes away just about all of the work in flying a hold, which gives you time to concentrate on what's coming up next. In this case, our hold has five mile legs, and the flight plan counts the miles for us. When it's time to turn, we again get a warning, and the autopilot starts turning us inbound toward the holding fix. It's also smart enough to get us back onto the correct side of the hold, something we always have to do after a parallel entry. It then intercepts the holding course toward the fix. Next after the hold comes Lan Yi and Janeg. Janeg is the final approach fix and when it's the active waypoint, we'll see the green LPV enunciator in the lower left corner of the GPS. The glide slope needle has been descending and as it centers, we'll need to start descending down the glide path. For a 90 knot ground speed, we'll need about a 500 foot per minute rate of descent. As we approach the runway, we'll monitor our altitude. We'll reach the decision altitude before the GPS counts down to zero. Even though the GPS doesn't say zero, we still need to decide now to either land or start climbing for our missed approach. There's a lot more to flying these approaches, so let's get started now.